Welcome back to Cedar Cove Farm. It's a beautiful sunny day here. That means it's time to put some sweet corn in, finally. Now, unfortunately, I won't get to use the cyclo. Um, you guys have been following along. You'll remember that I've been trying to get it put together and I got close, but there's a couple parts that I'm still missing for it. So unfortunately, won't be ready this spring, or at least for this planting of sweet corn. Hopefully I'll get those parts in and be able to put in the second batch. I mean, I've got a couple more weeks I can still put corn in. So that means we're gonna use the old reliable two row John Deere. So first step, get the tractor. We'll get rid of these forks. We don't need those and go get the planter. It should be good to go, parked it, ready to go last year and it'll just put some seed in and it'll be ready to go this year. the old two row uh, it's a three-point mounted planter ski runners so skis open up the trench but let's get it hooked up I can explain it a little more when we get down to the field Got the planter three point. It's adjusted solid, so it's not going to move side to side as I go pass to pass. Uh, I've got my sweet corn here. This is a 84 day sweet corn. Let's get some in the planter and get it spinning so we have some coming out. So this is a mechanical drive, chain drive planter. Uh, what that means is as this rear wheel spins, it spins this chain, uh, which will actually spin the meter. So I'm gonna spin the wheel and hold you guys down here. And there you can see 
We've got seed coming out. We'll do the same for the other side. So we've got seed, both plates are full. That means it's ready to go. All we gotta do is plant. So let's get to it. I've checked a couple different spots. Seed is in the rows, so that's a good sign. I'll just take it to a random spot here. There's one, there's one. There's a seed, so we've got seeds. Uh, the spacing is, it is what it is. I can't really affect that. We'll cover this back up. It's a little hard to dig in the sand. The trench just falls in, but everything looks good. So I'm gonna just make some rows. That's all I can do at this point. So let's make some rows and get our first batch of sweet corn planted.
that's it just like that i've got the first batch of sweet corn so if you look across the whole field i ended about here that's about one third of the field planted which is good i'll plant another third and another third so that i'll have three crops or three staggered growings of sweet corn what i'll do is wait till this starts to emerge before i plant the next batch that way they're delayed quite a bit what i want to check now is we'll drop the planter down just a little bit and then what i want to do is spin the wheel and see if we've still got seed that'll tell me if this last row is fully planted So only one seed came out of there. And only one seed out of there. So I checked this before I started, some seed came out. That means it probably ran out somewhere in that last pass. That's okay, I've got plenty planted. What I'll do is when I start the next batch, I'll just start where this stops ending or stops emerging. Um, but that's all I got for today. Uh, keep watching in. I'll keep progress on the sweet corn as the year goes by and putting the other plots in. But thanks for hanging out with Cedar Co. Farm. Catch you later.